So hi guys and girls and welcome to Elite Koi. One of the biggest questions we get asked here at Elite Koi is how many fish can I add to the pond? How long do I have to wait before I can add fish to a new pond? That's probably the number one question that we're going to ask. So to try and answer some of these questions uh, we've decided to come up with a series talking about new, point, new pond syndrome. Now, uh, I guess we best start by saying what is new pond syndrome. New pond syndrome is a syndrome or it's, a, it's something that happens when you have a brand new pond, you add fish to that brand new pond, everything's immature, you're quite often there is talking about maturity in a koi pond um, and of course there's none of this in the, new, in the new koi pond. So what to expect to see during the new koi pond syndrome, you expect to see elevated levels of ammonia, Ammonia is very, very toxic to fish. Um, the, there'll be no nitrite. What happens with the nitrogen cycle? Of course, this is a, a part of life. Ammonia is produced by the fish, usually through the gills. It's a soluble ammonia. The, that is a result of feeding the fish. That ammonia then gets converted by a bacteria to nitrite. Slightly less harmful to the fish, although it, they will show you uh, signs that there is nitrite present in the pond. We'll go into them at a later date. The final part of the conversion the nitrogen cycle is of course nitrate, so it nitrite to nitrate, which is fairly harmless to fish and it's something that we don't really tend to look at here at Leakoy unless we have a problem that we have no other answers for. So going back to the start, uh, a new pond syndrome of course, you've built a brand new pond, it's all nice and new, the filter's new, the water's brand new, everything is brand new there's no bacteria in there if anything there's going to be some chlorine in there which we must get rid of but again we'll get into that in a little way you add the fish you then start to feed the fish the fish will convert that food into ammonia a very toxic uh, very toxic uh, substance the ammonia over a period of time depending on the size of the pond will build it usually takes between seven and ten days for that ammonia bacteria to get going uh, to start cycling from the more toxic ammonia to the slightly less toxic nitrate. Now during this period this video series is going to look to address of how you can reduce the ammonia levels while still feeding it. Of course ammonia is a very funny substance because as much as we don't want it in the pond we've got to produce it to get rid of it. So in many ways and many things that we're going to be talking about uh, during these series Always look as uh, you're know, cycling your filter, building your bacteria levels as trained in an athlete. You've got to keep it fed, you've got to increase the feed gradually through the exercise. It will become better and stronger as it goes on. New pond syndrome. It not only affects these brand new ponds, you can also experience new pond syndrome in existing ponds. Now when might that happen? That might happen after, let's say, a filter crash. So the causes of a filter crash, of course, if you haven't got a good weekly water testing um, protocol in your pond, the KH, which is the mineral which uh, everything uses, KH or carbon hardness for the growth, the bacteria using it for converting the toxins, if you don't keep your eye on that and keep it at a relative level, that can allow your pH to swing. pH swings, that goes into uh, an acid state, so a pH positive, uh, negative of 7 uh, pH is acid water that will then cause a filter crash a filter crash means that your filters died simple as that you've got new pond syndrome coming because you've got to start building that bacteria up from scratch but of course it's much worse in an existing pond because you've also got all the old dead bacteria to deal with as well so as with anything that you come across in your ponds and certainly any uh, anything to do with regards to the videos and the tutorials that we're releasing here at Lake Point, Please contact us in the first instance and if you'd like to learn more subscribe to us on YouTube where you'll get early notification of all these videos coming out. Hope really do hope these videos are going to help you guys um, out in this fascinating wonderful hobby. There is another thing as well called the Elite Koi Subscribers Club that is uh, basically it's a Koi community that Elite Koi created. You join the Subscribers Club for a year you get discounts on everyday items that you use in your pond, all good stuff that you use for keeping the koi and the ponds healthy. That's a regular discount that you get. 
the idea is that you'll be more than rewarding discounts to offset the subscription cost and not only that there's also a private subscribers room there where we all congregate on a Friday afternoon for a chat you can always come along there if you have any specific problems if you'd like to ask any of the guys any questions with regards to anything with their ponds and of course I'll be there as well so I can also help you out on a one-to-one -one basis so that's probably the most valuable part of that subscribers club it's uh, it's it's great we've got lots and lots of subscribers here at Leap Point. and of course this sharing of knowledge is great when you when you different experience levels it's different ways of sharing the information and also that making sure that, that information that we're distributing is easy to understand so thanks for watching i really do hope that you're going to enjoy this series on on the uh, new pond syndrome new pond syndrome what to expect thank you